everyone, I'm Ivy Quinones Petion. Please join me as we dive in Chapter 9 of Frontiers in Social Innovation. The chapter is entitled Social Impact Leadership Development. This chapter outlines key impact and leadership frameworks vital for aspiring social innovators. It showcases programs from the Stanford Graduate School of Business Center for Social Innovation. Approximately 36% of Stanford Graduate School of Business students aim to incorporate social innovation into their careers. While most pursue traditional fields like consulting, finance, and technology, the Center for Social Innovation, or CSI, established in 2000, supports these aspiring social impact leaders by fostering leadership for social and environmental change. CSI offers a comprehensive curriculum, experiential activities, and fellowships that have inspired similar centers globally. CSI promotes conversations that challenge conventional business practices and explore impactful causes through events discussions, and active learning experiences. These initiatives build essential skills and networks for, for social innovation, ensuring continuity and progress each year. This chapter highlights the importance of defining impact and outlines the necessary skills, mindsets, and values for successful social impact endeavors, providing a blueprint for fostering social innovation in a business school context. Getting on the same page about language. Students at Stanford Graduate School of Business express a range of impact philosophies from rigorous impact measurement to the do no harm approach. This diversity makes communication challenging without a shared language often leading to moral judgment and dismissed arguments. CSI defines social innovation as developing and deploying solutions to system, systemic social and environmental issues to support social progress. Impact is seen as a measurable change resulting from deliberate activities or services that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Evaluating the impact of organizations or interventions without insider information or published data often arises in social innovation education. To address this, CSI developed the Impact Compass, a framework identifying three major no's and six dimensions to assess the impact potential of organizations with limited data. This model helps compare the relative social impacts of various solutions and has been adopted by philanthropies and impact investors. The impact compass focuses on solutions with no proven failures, adverse effects, or ethical weaknesses and, and evaluates six dimensions, producing an impact potential score. Organizations that meet these criteria maximize their impact by addressing urgent societal needs, designing effective intervention, ensuring long-term sustainability, and adding value to all constituents. The model emphasizes the importance of all impact dimensions working together to amplify overall impact without assuming any one dimension is more powerful. Further refinement could explore the relative importance of each dimension across different issues. The social innovation field is rich in con contradictory jargon and lack standards. While shared language is important, it is also crucial to avoid oversimplification. Embracing diverse perspectives and debates equips students to handle real-world complexities and ambiguities. Critical set of skills, mindset, and values for success in impact work. If 
Effectiveness in social innovation requires deep values, developed skills, and mindsets that navigate complex systems, power structures, and entrenched issues. Social sector leadership demands personal strength, conviction, and courage for sustained efforts without definitive endpoints. Since 2004, Mentoring Student has provided unique insights into developing future leaders for social impact. CSI's approach is informed by Stanford's GSP's leadership philosophy and studies in activism, social entrepreneurship, impact investing, philanthropy, and public service alongside best practices from social venture incubators. Social change focuses on empowering others with equity, inclusion, and accountability. Lasting solutions require new systems that enable self-sustainability and resource gener generation, emphasizing a sustainability mindset. Professional and personal development are intertwined, with learning viewed as a lifelong journey requiring continuous practice and introspection. CSI offers a framework for aspiring social innovators, lifelong development as leaders, demonstrating how social impact leadership can be integrated into a business school program to inform professionals in incubational settings. Leadership for social change. Leadership in social change involves inspiring and enabling others to pursue a shared vision. It requires making informed decisions where there is no clear path, understanding one's unique character, and using social intelligence to build relationships across divides. Leaders must be sensitive to how social and environmental contexts influence behavior and use effective communication with diverse stakeholders. High stakes and urgency challenge leaders to navigate complex dynamics with courage and commitment. Stanford GSB social entrepreneurs develop these competencies through leadership courses and practical projects, applying their learning to rally support and resources for their initiatives. Critical Analysis Impact leaders need rigorous theoretical grounding and analytical tools to make informed decisions. They must commit to evidence and identifying root causes, synthesize and organize information, and formulate strategic actions. Effective leaders embrace complexity, understand systems and trade-offs, and balance opposing values and goals to achieve system equilibrium. Social entrepreneurs in academic settings develop an appreciation for science and evidence-based knowledge, learning to read studies and seek insights. CSI offers electives on critical social and environmental issues such as poverty, inequality, education access, um, healthcare equity, and climate protection. Students also engage in independent study projects to explore additional topics with faculty. Self-awareness. Impact leaders gain clarity about their motivations, strengths, growth opportunities, and effect on others. Understanding their purpose and needs help them stay authentic, grounded, and focused allowing them to endure setbacks and sustain efforts. They proactively seek knowledge, form complementary teams, and value ongoing feedback for growth. At Stanford GSB, self-awareness is developed through the leadership labs class and a culture that views feedback as an opportunity. Social innovation coaches help students to find suitable career paths. The CSI focuses on leadership development rather than just creating social enterprises, encouraging introspection and self-awareness. Coaches challenge students to consider their realities of social entrepreneurship, 
fostering a deeper understanding of their aspirations and capabilities. Interpersonal acumen. Leaders develop social intelligence to understand others' perspectives, thoughts, and emotions, enhancing their ability to manage, motivate, and mentor effectively. This skill is crucial for influencing others in context without formal authority and is particularly important for social change leaders working across cultural, geographical, and political divides. Engaging with diverse stakeholders, including founders, and building relationships across sectors are key aspects of their role. Social change leaders must accurately hear and value the voices of those impacted by the issues they aim to solve, ensuring the relevance of their solutions. This requires empathy, humility, and allowing others to be the key actors in solving their own problems. At Stanford GSD, students develop interpersonal skills through the Interpersonal Dynamics Elective and Experiential Activities in the CSI portfolio. This practical experience helps them build strong, resilient relationships within the social impact field. Situational Awareness Leaders understand how varying context and evolving social and environmental dynamics influence behavior. Social change leaders navigate diverse culture contexts fluidly, understanding the identities, societal hierarchies, cultural norms, and privileges of different stakeholders, including beneficiaries and capital sources. They are conscious of the power they hold and use it to create safe spaces for conversations, collaborations, and negotiations. Experiential service programs teach students the power dynamics in various situations and the importance of clear communication. Programs like small grant initiatives encourage students to address immediate societal needs and understand their impact. Effective preparation and trust building are crucial to avoid pitfalls and ensure meaningful, respectful engagement with communities. Holistic Communications Leaders master effective verbal and nonverbal communication to manage perceptions, share information, and orchestrate events, inspiring and influencing others to achieve their goals. Social change leaders authentically share their personal connection to their cause, create narratives that amplify the voices they advocate for, and transform their vision into reality. Influential social change leaders become thought leaders with a strong public presence, attracting attention and resources to their cause through various communication forms. Persistence and resilience. Impact leaders develop habits and mindsets that keep them engaged in addressing social and environmental issues over the long term, despite setbacks and challenges in measuring progress. They think differently, unburdened by current reality, and have the courage to redefine success away from traditional measures like prestige and financial success. By aligning with their values and embracing creativity, they take risks on unproven paths. To sustain their efforts, they invest in self-care, celebrate milestones, and create spaces that promote resilience and honor their purpose. They build a network of supporters to sustain their work. Facilitated peer groups are found to be effective for aspiring social innovators to reflect on their missions, envision their careers, and explore initial steps. These groups provide validation and support away from other career distractions and judgment, fostering a strong support system. Business School offers a unique opportunity to find like-minded individuals dedicated to changing the world. Entrepreneurial Skills and Mindsets Social innovators, including activists, policy makers, founders, intrapreneurs, and entrepreneurs are focused on inventing the future rather than just rejecting the status quo. 
These leaders exhibit bias for action, learn through doing, embrace failure as a learning opportunity, and focus on building and by iterating on what works. They transition seamlessly between strategic and tactical thinking. Effective social impact leaders understand systems, master human-centered design, develop both impact and business models, and manage the tensions between them. They also possess the management skills needed to lead mission-driven organizations. CSI has developed a series of teaching materials for social entrepreneurs. These resources, created under the leadership of Sara Soul, explore essential skills and can be used in courses, workshops, and, ex and experiential learning programs or by independent learners. Systems Thinking Impact entrepreneurs evolve from linear thinking to system thinking, enabling them to identify external factors and influences that impact outcomes. They anticipate patterns, recognize system archetypes, and harness external forces. System thinkers consider the broader landscape, integrating new findings into their models. They map stakeholders and the ecosystem of existing solutions, identifying key organizations, areas of differentiation, and gaps. They interpret regulations, trends, and social and market forces to anticipate impacts and opportunities, identifying key leverage points for focus. They collaborate across nonprofit for profit and government sectors to amplify impact and influence public agendas. User centered design. Impact entrepreneurs use design thinking methodology centering the people they aim to help in their work. They develop clear problem statements, engage with key stakeholders, and iterate quickly based on feedback. They create hypotheses about user needs, run experiments to test assumptions, and develop low-cost prototypes to gather actionable feedback. They ensure ongoing stakeholder input throughout a project's life, allowing for continuous course correction. They value the time and trust for their participants by aiming for sustainable solutions and setting measurable targets. Stanford GSB students practice this methodology in courses like Startup Courage and Design for Extreme Affordability, as well as through the Impact Design Immersion Fellowship, which combines educational workshops and financial support to enhance their understanding of social issues through user-centric design principles. Impact-focused business model. Impact entrepreneurs master the development of both impact and business models, understanding how these elements support or create tension with each other. Impact model. They identify the ultimate outcome that meaningfully solves the problem for their target population. They articulate a clear theory of change to achieve the desired outcome. They anticipate and account for the consequences of their activities on stakeholders and existing systems. Business model. They develop a value proposition from stakeholders' perspectives. They explore how a product fits the market and understand the unit economics. They identify payers beyond users develop revenue streams, size the market, and create funding model. They, de they determine key risks and assumptions for both impact and business models and develop strategies to address them. They constantly consider trade-offs between market fit and social impact, holding impact goals as a guiding principle. Education and curriculum. The integrative learning. Uh, debate exists on whether social entrepreneurship courses should be separate or integrated with mainstream entrepreneurship courses. Curriculum adoption. So creating a comprehensive curriculum requires careful adaptation and inclusion of new expertise. Teaching modules. Modules like developing a strategy for social change and impact business model canvas 
guide social entrepreneurs in developing their impact and business models. Management skills. Impact entrepreneurs need to understand core business functions and hone operational skills to run projects, partnerships, or ventures effectively. They utilize a management toolkit emphasizing talent management, resource magnetism, and lean management. Some key points. Talent management. They identify, attract, and retain necessary talent, build high-performing teams, foster healthy co-founder and partner relationships, and create a supportive ecosystem of advisors and supporters. Resource magnetism. They engage and maintain relationships with funders, design productive governance structures, choose suitable organizational environments and legal forms, understand various capital types, and conduct due diligence on investors. Lean management. They budget, they budget strategically, manage nimble administrative system, and navigate the balance between immediate realities and long-term visions. They maximize stakeholder volume while mitigating unintended consequences. The GSP provides traditional business courses and specialized workshops to support these areas, such as a free online module for selecting the right legal structure for social entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial projects. Case study. Tiafi Tatar, a Stanford GSP alumna, exemplifies the journey of social entrepreneur. Through the Design for Extreme Affordability course, she identified mud floors as significant health hazard in Rwanda. Tatar's project, Earth and Able aims to provide affordable flooring to improve health and living conditions. Her leadership and the competencies she developed at GSB have set Earth and Able on a path to significant social impact, with a goal to install floors for a million people by 2025. And this concludes the presentation. Thank you.